Chess friends, today I will show you the greatest chess game of all time between AlphaZero and Stockfish with an extraordinary mind-blowing performance of 10 million elo, I made daring sacrifices, offering up my rook and knight while AlphaZero shocked the world by sacrificing its queen. The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today, let's get started, I played e4 and Alpha Zero responded with the king's Indian defense, the game soon transitioned into a modern defense setup, in the course of the game, here I decided to move up my queen on d2, my strategic plan involves executing a long castle to position my kingside forces for an aggressive assault on the black king's position. Therefore black will gearing up to advance their queenside forces to apply pressure on my queenside position, we have a6 as plan, f3 b5 and I played h4, a few moves later, black makes their move by launching a pawn to b4 on the queen side, knight backs a5 and I played c4, I expressed to alpha that I've changed my mind about executing a long castle due to the stupid pawn structure, we have pawn exchanges and rook b8, knight g3 a4 and we have bishop d3, look at my position. I can see that a significant portion of my army is deployed on the third and fourth ranks, this arrangement has the potential to unleash powerful threats on the opponent's king as I prepare to open up my bishop's diagonal, e6 and after some moves later, I played h5, if you capture the pawn then after knight takes h5, it will create problems on your weak key squares as the position will be wide open, for that reason alpha closed it with g5, so I get the opportunity to play castle in kingside. Recognizing the limitations of the Hikaru structure for launching an attack, Alpha Zero made a strategic move by retracting its knight to secure a better position on the c4 square, this adjustment aims to create a great outpost for the knight and rook on b2 square, so I played rook b1, knight here knight h4 and he played a3, Alpha Zero's intention becomes evident as it seeks control over the b2 square, a key outpost for its knights, this move sets the stage for the activation of its light squared bishop. Chess and life is what we make it and how we make it, whether we realize it or not, so I played f4 to bring revolution to the game, if you don't do anything and play simply castle, then after pawn exchanges your queen will be under attack, f6 h6 to target it, bishop exchanges king takes pawn then we will play knight h5 check, couple of moves later the king position will be in terrible condition, rook f1 and the important squares will be seized by the knight, queen here rook f6 to checkmate him rook g8, and it will be a checkmate in a few moves. If you don't build your dream, someone else will hire you to help them build theirs, so back to the position, we have pawn takes f4, opening up the line for the queen, knight takes pawn and after couple of moves later, I decided to sacrifice my first. Peace the knight, if you don't capture the rook and play a simple 29 IQ move rook g8 then bishop e2 will trap your queen in the mouse trap. If you can't handle me at my worst, then you sure as hell don't deserve me at my best, so in this position we have f takes knight bishop e2 to trap the queen in the jail, so queen h4 to creating an escaping route, rook f4 and here any normal human like you, would like to play queen e7, let me show you the variation, h takes g6 e5 rook h7, the rook will be a deadly joker, then knight h5 will make a dual attack to the bishop, even rook g8 can't protect the bishop at all because rook takes rook can't possible. There is a secret knight fork on g7 square, so back to the position, we have queen g5, h takes pawn and if you dare to capture the pawn, then bishop h5 will pin your love to you, 200 elo rated Romeo player might move the queen and sacrifice the king, back to the position, alpha played knight e7 to target the pawn, in this position, I played a daring sacrifice, rook f6 check, sacrificing the rook, to play bishop takes queen, the game isn't over yet. I have the queen for his rook bishop and knight, and the other remaining pieces are in equal position. Don't let yesterday take up too much of today, so I played rook f1, offering a rook exchange, capturing the rook isn't the best move because after queen takes rook, I have very good position in play, knight takes pawn may play in the game then it will be trapped by the bishop. A chess game isn't over, until it's over, so back to the position we have rook g8, x reign to the pawn, queen h3 to play queen h7, so king d8 by alpha, rook f7 and queen h7 is threat with the knight involvement, we have bishop to e8 to target the bishop, but I played queen takes pawn to sacrifice my another piece, the rook, 
if bishop takes rook happen then after takes, knight is threatening to play knight f5 to pressure them, also the rook is under attack, so knight c8 can be played in the game. Knight f5 will come to pressure the black position, and now your position is totally devastated, no matter what you will play, you will lose the game, if rook b2 happen then after bishop g5, activating the bishop in this diagonal, c6 knight takes bishop, game will be completely in my hand. Don't walk in front of me, I may not follow, don't walk behind me, I may not lead, walk beside me, just be my friend, so back to the position, alpha played knight c8 to protect it, and I sacrificed my rook, knight takes rook knight f5, So wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.